Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to uh, cover the Jenkins integration with GCP, and we are going to uh, log in with our GCP account, and we are going to uh, run a bash script, and uh, it is going to remove some of the older versions of App Engine, which we are going to deploy shortly. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to do, uh, this is the repo and let me open this file and this file, right? So uh, I've already covered uh, this app engine in my previous video, you can watch that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply uh, create um, or deploy the new versions of uh, already deployed applications. So uh, what I need to do uh, regarding that, so simply, uh, but I'm uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, let me show you that uh, simply. Uh, let me open this. Okay. Uh, if I do ls, and uh, this is the shell, and uh, I've already covered all this in my previous videos. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to deploy the some of the newer version of my application so i'm going to say yes and i'm going to pipe it to this command so let's do that so what it does uh, that it is going to deploy the newer version of the default application so if i navigate to my uh, app engine and you will see that uh, our application is already running although we are going to uh, deploy a newer version of these uh, application so what we want to do, uh, for instance, you have a lot of uh, older version uh, versions of application and you want to delete through the pipelines, uh, Jenkins, and we are going to do that. So let it deploy till then, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Jenkins, which I've already covered in my previous video. We, had, we have already set up the Jenkins in Docker container. And uh, you can watch this video, although I've already covered uh, this uh, this is going to be five minute job or you can deploy backup and store uh, in five minutes you can watch this uh, video so i've already done that we are going to set up a new pipeline regarding the pipeline let me um, show you this file so simply what we are going to do let me uh, show you that we are going to although jenkins is already running in docker container we are going to use the agent uh, docker so what you need to do uh, what I've done, I've already installed the plugin. So um, if you navigate to click on this icon and manage Jenkins, uh, okay, you need to navigate to the manage plugins. Uh, already uh, I've installed the plugin. So simply you need to do uh, type Docker, uh, sorry, type pipe. So uh, I've already installed it. So let me search here docker pipe okay not showing so i mean this is the docker pipeline plugin you need to install okay so anyway it is not showing but uh, simply what you need to do uh, is to simply install the docker pipeline plugin so uh, okay let me check in the installed section so let me do docker pipe. So this is the plugin guys. Uh, it is, you know, already enabled and this is the plugin you need to um, set up and simply just um, then restart the Jenkins, that's it. So um, regarding the pipeline, let me navigate to that. So this is the pipeline. So simply, uh, first of all, let me set up a pipeline and I'm going to cover the steps which you need to follow regarding that. So we have already uh, now uh, simply refresh it. You will see the two version of application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another version of application, right? So let it authorize and it is going to do that. So uh, if you see all version, you see this version is deployed. Now 100% traffic is set up. Uh, is moving to that version of application. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one pipe here, navigate to dashboard, create a new pipe, and I'm going to call this uh, GCP uh, 
app engine right and i'm going to create one pipe and we are going to paste that uh, in our pipeline so for ease of use uh, i'm going to cover the steps which i have done so regarding this pipe uh, you see the agent we are going to use docker which means that it is going to download this uh, cloud uh, sdk uh, and simply when all the stages are completed it is going to remove that container so we have already installed the pipeline the environment variables uh, these are the environment variables this is my uh, project email id this is i'm going to use and these are the stages first of all we do a g cloud auth and g cloud auth activate we are going to use e file so i've already added in the credential section so simply you need to navigate to your uh, im section in the um, gcp and simply navigate to the service account uh, you create a service account uh, by name jenkins or whatever you like it and then um, download the json file and you simply you need to update it uh, update that file or add that file in your credential section in the credential portion right so uh, i've already done that so let me show you uh, in the click this and manage Jenkins navigate to the uh, credential uh, manage credential so uh, this is the credential we are going to use so uh, let me click on that and simply if I do update and the place so this is the file you see JSON file it provide, provided me I've added that that's it so uh, anyway let's try to run the pipeline uh, if you simply refresh, we should have at least uh, two version of our application and I'm going to simply uh, show you the versions, right? You see, these are the two version. And what I'm going to do, uh, okay, navigate to the dashboard and this is the pipeline. Let's try to uh, simply uh, do the build now and let's see the results. Then I'm, I'm going to cover the steps which are going to be uh, happening in that or uh, in that stages so if i click this guy and simply navigate to the console output you will see that first of all um, it is going to download that version so i've already downloaded it it will initially take some time so it has already downloaded the version so what we are currently saying that we are asking for the uh, g cloud version sdk so um, that contains spun up you see and i'm asking to list the g cloud compute zones and after that um, it has done and in the next stage what i want uh, to remove the older versions of my application so it is exactly doing that it is removing all the previous version uh, where the traffic split is zero and once it's done you see it has uh, completed the pipeline successfully so uh, if i navigate to uh, my gcp account simply refresh it you will see the all the previous version with where traffic uh, is zero you see removed and we have only one uh, version so if i navigate to the version section you will see that 100 percent traffic is splitting and serving to this guy so let me uh, cover the steps uh, which we are which we have uh, done in the pipeline so g cloud auth uh, these are the stages and let me neg navigate to the jenkins let me show you the stages so g cloud auth right so let me show you so g cloud auth this is the stage g cloud auth version g cloud uh, account activate this is the command key file which we have provided uh, from the, our credential section so if you see uh, we have created the credential with this a name and add the file json file provided i have already shown you that and then um, i'm going to uh, use this my project id and then I, this user has the privileges to compute all the zones it has done that so um, that uh, stage is completed and then i'm asking for g uh, cloud compute where i've added uh, this is the one so i'm asking for the compute list uh let me show you the this section in the 
uh, in the pipe as well to see uh, to sh uh, to show you the output of that uh, command. So uh, so what it does here, uh, it listed all the zones for us, right? So uh, this is how simple it is uh, with the Docker containers. All the set uh, setup is going to be done within five to ten minutes, right? So uh, then uh, we are going to uh, using this stage uh, G Cloud App Engine. If you navigate to this section, G Cloud App Engine, right? So we uh, here we have defined instead of um, creating any repository, what I've done uh, creating a simple script here. Uh, which is a for loop and zero traffic. Uh, here I use this command, which uh, gives us the, I mean, traffic split uh, to zero. Uh, I mean, uh, documentation with regard to the GCP is already available. You can have, you can use these uh, app engine commands or GCP CLI. As you know, we are using the GCloud CLI, so we have all the you know commands available. As CLI is already set up, so we are going to simply export this version. Uh, not really required, but uh, this is the for loop we are going to um, trigger here. So if I navigate to this section, uh, okay, this guy. So what it does, uh, it will pull. Um, okay, so uh, this is the command you see is ran uh, so, uh, zero traffic. It will uh, take in all the versions ID with get traffic uh, route is zero and uh, we are going to simply remove this uh, with that particular command and it says uh, do you want to continue and we are using uh, if you see the pipe and we set up uh, you know we're not going to you know do manual even if it is not possible so we are providing yes to simply remove the versions the traffic split is zero so that is it guys uh, and then what it it has done it removed the container so we have only Jenkins container running up and running. So that is it guys. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and have a nice day. Thank you.